right, I'm uh, back with um, the bath salts, and uh, I'll be getting into some stories about um, some people who are sharing their experiences with bath salts, and also get into a short history on and, uh, how it kind of became what it is today. So, um, the first story is this product is poison. This product is poison. After the first hour, I started to feel the cocaine ish come down that grew inc increasingly worse. The left side of my chest began to tighten, and my heart was beating faster than ever. Paranoia set in. I was very close to requesting hospital treatment, but I waited it out. I would get better, a little worse, back and forth, but eventually, after three to four hours, I was feeling thankful to be alive and sober. The reports of people dying or going to the hospital are not BS. This is dangerous poison that some scum is making cash off in the most evil of ways. Our next story is, do not use this stuff. My heart stopped beating. I'm an experienced drug user who experimented with more drugs than I have fingers. Uh, that means that they've been doing a lot of drugs. Bath salts are more dangerous than crack. The come down was the worst experience of my life. It lasted nine hours. Nothing but fear heart palpitations, jitters, severe nausea, and everything coming and going a million miles an hour. It was terrible. Because of this experience, I will never use drugs again. I am lucky to still be alive to warn you. Stay away from this. So this is coming from somebody who was an experienced drug user, but um, what makes synthetic drugs is that, you know, I mean, when you've been doing other drugs, you usually know what you're getting. With synthetic drugs, you really have no clue. So there's no such thing as being able to tell how it's going to vary one synthetic drug experience from the next synthetic drug experience. So uh, that's something to think about when being encountered with uh, that choice. A short history on bath salts. Um, the drug known as bath salts were first synthesized or artificially created back in France in 1928-1929. So that goes to show you how long this has been around. Um, some were originally researched for potential medical use, but most of the drugs created were unsuccessful due to severe side effects, including, including dependency. Abuse of these drugs started in the former Soviet Union in the 1930s and 40s, where they were used as antidepressants. Some of the names that they went by back then were called Cat and Jeff, and they started to gain popularity in the United States in the 1990s. Uh, between 2004 and 2008, these drugs were used in Israel until the key ingredient was made illegal. By 2007, they had gained broader popularity amongst drug abusers when they began to appear on internet drug forums. Ecstasy pills analyzed in the Netherlands in 2009 found that over half the pills did not contain the primary drug that ecstasy is associated with, but rather drugs found in bath salts. In 2012, two of the key drugs used in bath salts were made illegal in the U.S. However, underground chemists then created new variations with slightly different chemical formulas and promoted them openly as bath salts or repackaged them as glass cleaner or other names. So, you know, um, you don't know what you're getting. You may think just because you've taken this stuff before that you, you handled it and it was fine. The next time you get it, it could be a totally different drug. So that just goes to show you how dangerous this is and the extent that people will be able to go to make this and how it's hard to catch them because technically you're buying legal stuff. So, um, you know, this is this is a very dangerous drug, and I hope that this gives you some uh, some insight if you encounter it with this choice, and hope you make the right one. All right, hope this video has helped someone. Thank you.